<laughs> we're back at Aransas National Wildlife Refuge today. Since we got here during early spring last year, we missed the whooping cranes, but they should be here today. And we're gonna hike the Heron Flats Trail, which we didn't take last time. But according to their website, that's kind of where the birds have been hanging out. Well, that was different from the last time we were here. We heard the alligators, but we didn't see any of them. Okay, so the trail only goes about another three quarters of a mile, probably because that's where all the whooping cranes have been hanging out at. And we thought that might have been a dead bird in the water, but Dean was able to see the bottom side of it and it was definitely a rock. Here on Matagorda Bay is where the last wild flock of whooping cranes spends the winter. They spend the summer and the breeding season up in Canada. So the, the preservation effort for this species has been a multinational uh, effort between the Fish and Wildlife Service in the U.S. and the Canadian Wildlife Service. And it, it's one of those odd situations where 
Texas on the southern border of the United States has to work with Canada uh, in the far north. So pretty, pretty interesting, pretty cool how uh, Canadian Wildlife Service, Texas Parks and Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service have worked together to try to save this species. open all the way and now we're on the hike back I think we're gonna take the trail back at princess pace it's probably hey uh, yeah we pretty much did except now she's ready to slow down <laughs> but I think this is the longest hike she's been on since the incident Last time we were here, it was a bonanza of all kinds of other wildlife, except everything that this refuge is known for. And today we got the two things that this refuge is known for. Whooping cranes, there's a pair of whooping cranes out there, and alligators. surprised princess didn't notice the armadillo and want to go nose to nose with it but I'm also really glad mm -hmm. 